Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. Uh, in today's video, I got a little review coming for you guys. I'm pretty excited about this one. Uh, today we're going to talk about the uh, new for 2022 Shimano Bantam 150MGL-A. So this is the new Bantam that Shimano came out um, with in 2022. I have the older Bantam here, the one that came out in 2018. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a comparison between the two. Of course, talk about the specs, talk about what this new 2022 Bantam has to bring to the table. And then we're going to compare the two reels. And of course, we're going to end off the video like we usually do with my review videos. Uh, we're going to take it out on the water here. I'm going to show you guys this reel in action and hopefully we can catch a fish or two. So the new Bantam here, as you guys can see, um, really doesn't stray too, too much from the 2018 Bantam, which I'm not too mad about. I love the 2018 Bantam. As you guys can see, I have put this reel to good use. There's a little bit of rash on it, uh, but this reel has been a sick sick reel i use it for flipping and pitching right now i have it on the 7.2 medium heavy for my uh, chatter baits and spinner baits just because it's so so sensitive so um spec wise they didn't really venture too too far from 2018 reel uh but they made some key changes that i want to show you guys or i'm going to talk to you guys about here so first of all about the reel of course it still has the core solid body one piece aluminum frame um, makes the reel really really rigid really really sensitive which is uh, a big reason why a lot of people like it for flipping and pitching it has cross carbon drag svs infinity braking like the last model and uh, micro module gearing inside so the bantam comes in three gear ratios uh, both left and right hand retrieve 6 2 to 1 7 1 to 1 and 8 1 to 1 and as for the weight um, the weight varies between 7.6 and 7.9 ounces the lower the gear ratio the lower the weight so i have an 8 1 to 1 here so it's going to be 7.9 ounces they have eight bowl bearings plus one roller bearing 11 pounds of drag and retailing at 350 usd which is about 450 canadian so at that same price point as the older bantam so comparing it to the old bantam um, there are about four main differences three you know tech technical technical differences technological differences i guess you could say uh first difference you guys can see it's not that um silver color anymore it's a flat gray i would call it there's a little bit of black in that side plate right there but it got a little bit of a makeover um technologically speaking there's a couple of differences first being the mgl spool the new bantam has the third gen mgl spool uh, the first bantam year had the first one um, the differences between the two spools this new spool here is just a little bit thinner a little bit lighter just to decrease that uh, startup speed and that inertia a little bit more the second key difference is the new infinity drive that this bantam features so the previous generation had x ship technology uh, what infinity Infinity Drive is, it still has the double grease bearings on either side of the pinion gear, but now the pinion gear is directly attached to the spool shaft. This is supposed to improve the winding torque, um, you know, have a, a lighter, airier feel, even under um, load, like when you're fighting a fish. So that's the main, you know, addition to the new Bantam right here. The last key difference, is it really a tech technological difference? It's a little bit more of a structural difference, I guess you could call it. Um, but something I noticed, uh, the level wind on the older Bantam, as you guys can see, is pushed back pretty far in the reel. Um, so if I am fighting a fish, you know rods bent right over there's pretty uh there's a pretty substantial angle there with my line as you guys can see didn't make a huge huge difference because the uh eye right there is pretty big um but it is pushed back fairly decently into the reel the new bantam they push the level wind up a little bit the eye right there as you guys can see so if i compress it here it's not as sharp as a, of an angle in my line, which I think is good. Um, you know, less angles in my line, the better, you know, comes through the guide smoother and all of that. So that is something that I did notice. They pushed that forward a little bit, which I think is a good improvement. All right, guys. So we talked about the technology in the new Bantam. We talked about its specs. 
we compared it to the 2018 model and now we're going to take it out in the water and uh, hopefully go catch a couple fish let's see uh let's see how it performs out on the water so you guys can see there another side by side of the reels the frame is the same pretty much there's a little bit of you know a couple design differences here but the f the core solid you know gani body is pretty much the same which i'm not complaining because this reel has been a heck of a reel <laughs> <laughs> you aren't very big. First one. Feels so big in the in the milfoil. <laughs> I don't even get him that good. There you go. Now a little one. So this reel feels like an absolute tank. Um, you know, the one piece aluminum frame. You can definitely tell a difference between this and say a Colorado or something. It's a very sensitive reel. I mean, like all the bites I've had so far, even some of the strains of MILF, when I feel them going over my line, I can feel it all in this reel right here, which is nuts. Other than that, it casts like a dream. Very free, you know, free flowing, free feel feeling. And comparing to uh, the old Bantam, it feels it feels pretty similar, I can't lie. The finish, the finish definitely feels different. Um, it's, you know, that, that flat gray as opposed to the slick silver definitely feels a little bit different but it has that same you know tank feeling to it it's easy to palm i would argue um easier to palm than let's say a corrado or something i have a fish <sighs> hey bud There you go. Just flipping some weeds. Like I was saying though, um, easier to palm in my opinion than a, than a Corrado. I mean, it is a 150 size spool, so it is, it is a smaller reel. Different shape than, let's see, a Corrado too though. It's more of like a boxy shape as, a, as opposed to a round shape, but very, uh, very comfortable. Easy to, you know, flip all day. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a sick reel. <laughs> it's a sick reel. All right, guys, so that is a wrap for today's video. We did a quick review, talked about the technology in the new Bantam, talked about the specs, compared it to the 2018 Bantam MGL, and we took it out on the water and caught a couple of fish. Um, overall, I feel like this new Bantam, the new 2022 Bantam, is a new, you know, refurbished uh, look to what we expect to get out of a Bantam reel. You know, the one piece aluminum frame is personally my favorite aspect of the Bantam. For me personally, this is a do it all reel. It's nice, rigid, sensitive for those that want to go flipping with it. And you can cast an absolute mile for those that want to go cranking with it, chatter baits, spinner baits, all of that. I'm a huge fan of it. I was a huge fan of 2018. I'm a huge fan of this reel itself. Uh, if you guys are in the market for a flipping setup, personally, this is what I would go to, either the Bantam or the Corrado 200. Uh, but that being said, this is going to stay on this x bride here and it's going to be my go-to uh, flipping setup here so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm going to leave links to where you guys can find this reel down below in the description both in the us and in canada and other than that i will see you guys in the next one